going on everybody wanted to give you my next vlog for my contest prep that I'm doing in secret update um, hope you enjoyed some of the posing this camera I can never get this thing to sit just right is that better yeah anyway one of these days I'm gonna master this um, uh, try to get you up to date on my vlog what's going on with my macros as you can see at the beginning there I showed you some of my posing it's in crappy lighting I have no pump literally I've been laying on my couch all day uh, doing some work and then watching some movies by the way watch Spider-Man Homecoming <laughs> horrible uh, now I'm trying to get through Wonder Woman I got through most of it not too bad um, don't know if it required over two hours but I'll let you know once I finish it so reached out one let's give you the weight update I was trying to get down to like 183 ish I ended up balancing between 184 to 185 um, not quite where I wanted but I'm by no means far behind um, we're not doing anything drastic to food but we are gonna make another slight cut so I was at 205 grams of carbs we're now gonna go to 190 grams of carbs and hope to give me another pound a pound and a half off pretty much trying to proceed this way all the way till the end of March and I think the goal is to be around 178 pounds by the end of March and like Robin says that's like getting early that's getting ready like really really early um, yes and no but that'll give me about five or six weeks to maybe get another two pounds off we're, we're figuring around based on what we're seeing 176 pounds stage weight That'll be an increase of five pounds of lean mass since the last time I competed, which was at 171 pounds back in 2014. Um, overall, I was feeling like a little dip in strength, but I feel like this past week was was pretty good. My recovery is okay. Um, obviously, I'm not recovering as fast as I normally would due to the lack of calories. Um, as you can see, though, I still look very full, which is impressive. However, I did just have my high carb refeed yesterday of 305 grams, which might have something to do with it. Um, but we'll see how this goes. I mean, we're, we're going to try to mess with introducing two refeeds per week at some point um, down the line here. And then we're going to get into, if I'm ready early enough and everything's looking good, maybe trying to write some different peak week protocols, um, like do a mock peak week to see how my body responds. And that way I still have some time to like fiddle with things. Um, there's not going to be any water depletion, salt depletion, things like that, but I think it's mainly going to be carb timing, um, which I'm not going to lie, makes me a little bit nervous. A uh, little bit nervous, not a little bit oh, nervous, a little bit nervous. Here's the reason why. I am very used to, due to how my body usually handles carbs and still appears to handle them, I'm used to intaking carbs the day of the show and trying to time them properly until I hit stage. I've never really done like a carb load going into the show or what some people have heard of, um, that kind of Cliff Wilson popularized and uses in certain instances was like the rapid backloading. So, outside of that, I have absolutely no cardio put into the plane yet. We're still running things as normal. Um, there's no reason to insert it as long as my body keeps responding, but I'm sure at some point or another to give the push I need just to get over the hump for stage conditioning, uh, I'll absolutely need to do some cardio at this point. Right now, I'm still like kind of cruising along. Uh, I'm very stress-free. I'm very carefree at the moment. Um, for This is like the first prep that I've just felt like good. Uh, I'm just hoping that my strength is going to keep up. I did notice a slight dip in bench, not going to lie. Um, but my legs are holding up. I'm being very careful. What I'm also doing now is I am working with somebody both for massage therapy and, and, and on the chiropractic and to make sure that kind of everything's in line. Um, my body takes a pounding on a daily basis from training, you know, the stress of life, not sleeping correctly, things like that. So I want to make sure that, you know, my lats aren't getting impinged and, and hung up. So when I go to, you know, pop them out, they both show the same. Um, my shoulders I've had some issues with. I want to make sure they don't get inflamed. Obviously, my left knee is a constant issue um, that I'm kind of working around. I'm not going to lie right now, so it's acting a little finicky. So I just want to keep maintaining everything so that the muscles stay loose and, and, and everything else stays mobile at this point. In terms of nutrition, nothing's really changing. Um, I am starting to just, like I said, really vary my food sources. So I, my wife went out and bought me some spinach and some green beans so I can get my greens in. Um, I'm horrible with vegetable, guys. I'm not even going to lie. 
but I am working on making sure to eat more whole food sources, promise. So I cooked up some salmon patties, I have some spinach, I'm using rice, I'm using oatmeal, I'm using sweet potatoes. I do use a lot of chicken too. Um, I haven't had a lot of red meat, no particular reason why, I just haven't. Um, so I've been mixing a lot of chicken and fish sources for my protein, still sticking to the one protein shake a day. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying like the insight to all of this, but there's there's really nothing like crazy going on. We're just manipulating the variables in terms of food and going from there. All right, guys, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoy this. All right, later.